Hey guys, my name is Andres Morales and I'm your local real estate broker. And now we have the December 2022 market update, which is the most recent update that we can provide because the uh, numbers lag in time. So let's go. 2022 was a turbulent year for the U.S. housing market as inflation, soaring interest rates and elevated sale prices combined to cause a slowdown nationwide. Affordability challenges continue to limit the market activity with pending home sales and existing home sales down month over month and falling 37.8% and 35.4% year over year respectively, according to the National Association of Realtors. Higher mortgage rates are also impacting prospective sellers, many of whom who have locked in historically low rates and have chosen to wait until the market conditions improve before selling their home. New listings decreased 40.1% from single-family homes and 39.9% for townhouse and condo homes. Pending sales decreased 52.2% for single-family homes and 59% for townhouse and condo homes. Inventory increased 30.2% for single-family homes and 38.7% for townhouse and condominiums. Medium sales price decreased 5.8% to $900,000 for single-family homes but increased 1.7% to $600,000 for townhouse and condo homes. Days of market increased 89.5% for single-family homes and 89.5% for townhouse and condo homes. Monthly supply of inventory increased 77.8% for single-family homes and 100% for townhouse and condo homes. Economists predict sales will continue to slow and housing prices will soften in many markets over the next 12 months, with larger price declines projected in most expensive areas. All this said, national inventory shortages will likely keep prices from dropping too much as buyer demand continues to outpace supply, which remains limited at 3.3 months according to NAR. Even if prices fall, many prospective buyers will find it difficult to afford a home in 2023 as higher rates have diminishing purchasing power, adding hundreds of dollars to the monthly mortgage payment. So thank you for watching this market report. Now we move up to the Orange County, California market report. So let's get to it. Thank you. So 2022 was a wild ride. The median price for single family homes detached was approximately $1,131,760. That's a 2.9% month to month in a 4. Negative 4.3% year to year. So if you look at from December uh, 2020 all the way down to December 2022, we did have a slight increase uh, over time, uh, but now values are fizzling off. Home sales for single families detached homes decreased 43% year to year and increased 3.1% month to month. Year to date, we're currently negative 31.5%. That means the inventory is going down and properties are not selling and primarily due to the increase in mortgage rates. Unsold inventory for single family detached homes is 2.4 months. We're negative 22% month to month and over 140% year to year. The medium time on market for single family detached homes is 23 days. It's a 9.5 increase month to month and 187.5% increase year to year. Now we go to the local market report. Hey guys, thank you for watching. So now we're going to the seller's guide uh, to a couple of different cities where I work at primarily, which is Tustin, Irvine, Santa Ana, Costa Mesa, and Anaheim. And we're going to cover the market update or the seller's guide as of December 2022. In the city of Tustin right now, the medium list price per square foot is approximately $624. At the low end, it's $462. And at the high end, it's $1,080 per square foot. Currently, properties are on the multiple listing service approximately 38 days, which is a negative change of 3%. Only 35% of buyers in Tustin are willing to pay over the list price. That's a change of a negative 47% year to year. 40% of home sales have reduced their prices. That's an increase of 11% year over year. Currently, 67% of properties have been on the market for five weeks or more. The seller's guide for the city of Santa Ana, currently we're at $592 per square foot, a low end is $412, and a high end is $1,363. Currently, properties are lasting on the multiple listing service approximately 54 days. That's an increase of 73%. 33% of buyers are willing to pay over list price, in which is a decrease of 27%. 
and only 38% of sellers are willing to reduce the price to cost the home to sell. That's an increase of 18%. As it stands, the inventory is by days active. 74% of properties that are currently on sale have been on the market for five weeks or more. For the city of Irvine, the medium list price per square foot is $768. The low price is $357 and the high end is $1,259 per square foot. Properties are lasting 70 days on the multiple listing service. That's an increase of 338%. Only 20% of buyers are willing to pay over the list price. That's a decrease of 47%. And only 32% of sellers are willing to reduce the prices of their home to cost their home to sell. That's an increase of 18%. In inventory by days active, 77% of the properties currently active have five weeks of more on the market. In Costa Mesa, California, the current medium list price per square foot is $760. The low end is $605 per square foot, and on the high end is $1,810 per square feet. Properties are lasting on the multiple listing service approximately 53 days, a 112% increase. Only 7% of buyers are willing to pay over list price. That's a decrease of 42%. And only 49% of sellers have reduced their prices to cost their home to sell, which is an increase of 24%. Inventory by days active, 66% of properties currently active have been on the market for five weeks or more. And finally, in the city of Anaheim, the medium list price per square foot is $530. On the low end, it's $392 per square foot, and on the high end, it's $798 per square foot. On average, properties are lasting 45 days on the multiple listing service. That's an increase of 20%. And 28% of buyers are willing to pay over list price. That's a decrease of 38%. Only 42% of home sellers have been willing to reduce the price of the home to cost their home to sell. That's an increase of 31%. The inventory by days active is 72%, which are properties that have been listed for five weeks or more. Hey, thank you for watching this video. If you like the information in this video, please give me a quick like. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. Thank you and have a great day.